ericmother.com. Let's take a look here at the Russell 2000. And this is, that's the date there. It's a weekend. I want to show you how the market can be strange in the way it responds to certain areas of the RSI. Now, what I'm going to do here to show you how strange things can get is draw a line like that. Now, this is not a line that makes a lot of sense on, you know, first looking at it, but it does explain a lot of what has been going on on this chart. Keep in mind, this is a five years of data, so it's a lot of five years of weekly data. It's a lot of information here, and yet we are using only one line to try and explain some of the major developments. Not all of them, but some. So what we see here is this line is a line that is consistent with the resistance going back to 2014, 2015. All these were resistance levels into 2016. Now, and here's the key, is notice what happens when we move above the line. Somehow the market is aware of this line because we move above that level. And in fact, we can see from a breakout perspective, that was a good price breakout we come back eventually and test the same line or the same breakout level and then we bounce the market is very aware of this line because look we have uniform activity below the line back above it so the key is a uniform activity there we come and bounce on the line here with uniform activity giving us this weekly closing lows again uniform activity below the line back above it the market seems to be aware of this line somehow in a strange way there is the bounce. We bounce on this line with uniform activity. Somehow the market is aware. Look at that bounce. Double bottom support. Further confirming this line is legit. Now keep in mind at this point the line has been on this chart going back to early 2014. And now we are in 2018. Double bottom here for those lows. Now notice what happens is we come and break this line in 2018. Which, by the way, we can also say is a change in behavior because ever since we break out above this line here in 2016, this is the first time the market has broken below the line and stayed below it. This is the first break and a stay below the line since 2016. So that's a change in the way the market is behaving. That's for sure. Now, here's the big question using this line a strange line that seems to be explaining a lot of the going ons so now the question is what would happen if the market was to hit this line now and show the inverse or the exact opposite behavior of what has been going on in other words if it was to drift back below this line with uniform action if it was to drop below that line with uniform action something exactly opposite to the bullish period in other words if it's the exact opposite of this period this period where we found support exact opposite of this period where we found support and on and on in other words if we have uniform activity rejection on this line around here what would that mean for the market of course the answer is very simple if we have uniform activity then it suggests the next meaningful direction is lower and we also know based on how the market has been responding should the market stay above and move above the blue line then what that indicates is that the next major direction from here is to the upside so one single line going back many years explaining what's been going on so our task looks like to always be on the lookout for these types of strange lines because as we can see, some of these strange lines explain what is going on in a chart, in a stock, in an instrument, more than some of the analysis we do based on other parameters. So strange lines sometimes can be the key and the answer. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. A-C-S.